my dears and welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos sometimes oh before we get started you might hear Cecilia in the back she's currently watching Wally -E and she is obsessed with Wally -E. we have to watch it at least once sometimes twice a day and she gets really really into it and she'll like <laughs> she'll like scream at Wally -E and everything so if you hear her you know just know she's enjoying herself watching Wally. -E. So today's video is going to be all of my favorites. I haven't done a favorites video obviously in a really really long time because I was gone from YouTube for a minute but I have a lot of really really good good inexpensive things to share with you guys and a lot of it comes from Shop Miss A. Like during the time that I wasn't on YouTube I'm not gonna lie I was ordering from Shop Miss A just about every single week. I really really like the products. I love everything that they stand for. I actually had an issue with them sending me the wrong item once and their customer service team was phenomenal. So I wanted to share those with you. So no more babbling. Let's just get right into this. Yes. So since I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about well, I guess that's all included in one category. So about six Shop Miss A products. So let's just get through the non Shop Miss A products first, and then I will show you all the Shop Miss A products that I've been digging this month. So the first two that I want to share with you are from ColourPop. I have this blush in the shade Drop of a Hat. I cannot remember what collection this was from because it has this like really beautiful like um, burgundy like package to it. This is a beautiful beautiful do you see that it's like a peachy pink muted gold color I don't really know how to describe it and it just looks stunning on the cheeks it's definitely glowy as you could see it has like a decent amount of reflex in there but it is beautiful like I've never used any of the um the super shock cheeks before and I'm really digging this like let me know if you've used any of the matte ones because I'm curious and interested in picking up a couple of these in like a matte formula I've been really really into creating products lately specifically because during this time of the year my skin is super duper dry so if you have any more of these in different shades like let me know which ones you like. And then the other product I have from ColourPop is another Super Shock Cheek and this is a highlighter in the shade Parasol. I was looking for something a little bit more peachy like gold and this one this one is really really pretty however I'm a little bit too light right now for that color. As you can see it's definitely like a little bit more on the bronzy side um, I'm not tan anymore because it's we've been inside for quite a bit not that it gets cold in San Diego but um, I've just been spending a lot of time at home lately because we're still struggling potty training Cecilia here so we've just spent a lot of time at home but parasol is gorgeous like blended out it definitely does look a lot lighter than that first initial swatch and this is a beautiful beautiful highlighter like I'm really really loving loving the color pop like super shock cheeks even though I've only got one blush and I've only I only have two of these highlighters but I really want more like I want to place an entire order for a bunch of cheek products because I'm obsessed you guys and you will see I'm obsessed with blush and highlighter. So I've been enjoying those quite a bit and so I wanted to share those with you. The next product I want to talk to you guys about is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I did a review on this comparing it to the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and this is definitely a dupe for that. Now I will say it doesn't give you as much coverage as the Too Faced one does, however this does build up quite nicely. It sits beautifully under the skin and now that I've like used both of them like I, I like to rotate all of my products and there's days where I'll use one or the other I've noticed that the Too Faced Born This Way one is a little bit drier of a formula or consistency than this one so I definitely like this one way more and in that video I did discuss that I won't ever buy that one again um, just because this one exists now I will say I think I need a lighter shade of this um, for some reason I, I don't know if it's because it's had oxygen like in it or whatever. I feel like it has darkened a bit since I initially opened it or the first couple of like days that I used it. Um, but I think I do need a lighter shade. I will definitely pick it up next time I go to Target or maybe just order it on elf.com. I have mine in the shade 
uh, medium sand, but I think I need uh, medium peach. Yeah, I saw a couple of YouTubers swatch medium peach, and I think that's going to look really, really nice under my eye, uh, eyes with my skin tone. Let's get into all the Shaw Misé products that I have been so in love with that I just, I need to share them with you guys. So the first two are actually um, the setting spray and the primer spray. I've never used a priming spray before, and I was really curious about it, so I figured, you know what, why not try this? This is like perfect size. It comes with um, 2.5 fluid ounces, so it's pretty small, but this is really good size um, just to sample or whatever, and it's only $1.88, so you can't go wrong. I did purchase mine in the duo. I still have the boxes because there's a couple of claims I wanted to read on it, but I did purchase mine as a duo, and together they cost me $3.55. So again, not terrible for a priming spray and a setting spray. Um, they claim to be fragrance free. However, I do feel like there is a little bit of a scent to it, but it's nothing overwhelming. I can't put my finger on it what it is exactly that it smells like and I can't give you like an example or anything like that but it's not a horrible smell. The claims for the primer is that it'll you know give you a smooth like even skin tone, absorbs oil, minimizes pores, long lasting and fragrance free. Definitely not fragrance free like I said it does have a very like slight scent but it's nothing overwhelming like it's nothing that's gonna like make you <laughs> because I'm pretty sensitive. I have allergies like crazy. And sometimes those setting mists with too much like scent in them could be like extremely overwhelming. So, and not only that, but they make me sneeze like a million times, but this is nothing like that. It's very soft and very gentle and it definitely doesn't irritate my skin because I'm extremely sensitive to fragrance in products. Um, as of lately, I've noticed that my skin gets really, really red and bumpy, but this doesn't do any of that. So as far as minimizing pores, I don't see it. And absorbing oil, to be honest, it, it makes me look a little bit on the dewy side. So I'm not sure about those claims. I don't think, I hate to say it, I don't think it like lives up to the claims. However, it does look good. Like I, I, I I'm gonna try to get a clip of me putting this on um, just so that you could see it because I, obviously I already have all of my makeup on, but this is a really nice like, you know, spray to, to use like right before you go in with your foundation or concealer. And um, this is from their A Plus Charity. So a part of the proceeds do go towards support Supporting kids in education. Again, like, it's one of the reasons why I just keep going back to Shop Miss A. Like, not only is everything so affordable, but they, like, donate proceeds to, to charities. Like, why can't they all do that? I mean, I'm sure some of them do behind the scenes or whatever, but, like, it doesn't it's, it's okay to flaunt it, you know? People are gonna really like that. So, been loving this, the, the primer spray for sure. Now, as far as the setting spray, it says it locks in makeup, it's lightweight, it has a matte finish, non-drying and long-lasting. 100%. All the claims <laughs> as far as the setting spray are so true. It is definitely lightweight. It feels like you're spraying nothing. It does have a matte finish, but I have sprayed it on my face today, and as you can see, my skin doesn't look flat matte. I don't think, um, there isn't any alcohol in these products, so it's not gonna, like, dry your skin out or anything like that. Non-drying, like it states on this, and it, it does make my makeup last a pretty decent amount of time. This one also has a fragrance. They're both very different in fragrance. This smells more like... Man, I cannot put my finger on the scents on these products, but they don't smell bad. Like, they smell like clean almost, like a very natural, like clean scent. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's not overwhelming. It's not overpowering. I'll definitely spray this one real quick. The mist is not terrible at all for being a dollar eighty-eight, but as you could see, I still have like a natural skin look to my face. Like my face definitely doesn't look super duper matte. Everything just looks really, really good. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Like that's the best part. You ever like spray your face with the setting mist and you're like, why am I so sticky afterwards? Like that one does not make you sticky. And again, it locks your makeup in and it definitely doesn't strip that like natural dew on your skin. Now, if you're looking for something 
something super duper matte like if you like that like flat matte or like that porcelain doll matte look to you, to you then you probably won't care for that product because it does give you like a skin like finish so just saying just putting that out there all right moving on the next two things are these sponges I have talked about the shop miss a sponges and if you know anything about shop miss a their number one selling product is this little sponge this is their I believe the pawpaw charity sponge um, I'll have everything linked down below in case I you know don't have the right information but this is like a dupe for the beauty blender I have never tried the blue blue I have never tried the beauty blender because I cannot justify spending $20 on a makeup sponge when let's be honest I can buy 20 items at shop miss a for the price of that sponge so this is a dollar 55 I believe and this is the best sponge like this is their best kept secret that they make the most amazing sponge and it it's exactly the same size as the Beauty Blender. It's this, almost the same shade. It's got that nice point. It's super duper squishy. It's wonderful. I absolutely love it. However, I really think I like the Mochi Sponge better. The difference between the regular sponge and the Mochi Sponge is that the Mochi Sponge is... It's... I don't know how to describe it. It's just as soft. Like, they both feel... This is funny, right? <laughs> they both feel soft. But this feels like it has a little bit more like of a firmer texture and it grows in you know pretty pretty good in size like it does get pretty big when I wet the sponge and whatnot it's definitely not as soft as the original but this one has just like like a tougher skin maybe and it doesn't absorb the product as much as the other one does they both clean equally well. They, these are both definitely used sponges that are half clean. I've um, gotten to the habit to clean my sponges after I'm done applying my makeup so that I have a clean sponge for the next day. And I like this one more. It absorbs less product. Um, if you're curious or want like an application demo using this sponge, I'll totally do it. Just You just got to let me know in the comments because there's something very, very special about the Mochi sponges and I don't think they get talked about enough. But I love this like angle cut here I think that this is officially my favorite like style of sponge because it's nice and flat and I've used this to apply foundation I've used this to apply the concealer underneath I also like the uh, butt of the sponge to apply my cream blushes or highlighters like I am a sponge girl now like, I love using this sponge for everything so I've been really digging the mochi one just a little bit more than the original but both are equally good. I actually have another order coming in the mail. Uh, it shipped out yesterday, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, really enjoy their sponges. Absolutely cannot recommend them enough. The next thing I want to talk about is the Shop Miss A Skinny Mascara. I purchased this for the lower lashes, and I've been really enjoying this because first of all, look at how teeny tiny this wand is. This is a really, really good bottom lash mascara. I will say when I received this, it felt a little bit on the dry side. Like, I felt like every time I was applying it to my lashes, it would get stuck to my lashes and it wasn't really depositing product. It was more just like depositing some gunk on my lashes. However, my lashes don't look terrible right now. I do know of a hack that I use in my mascaras every now and then. And that is to just drop like one or two, sometimes three drops of like, um, what's that called? Oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart. Eye drops. <laughs> Just drop like one or two drops of eye drops into your mascaras and it sort of revives them again and it did make the formula really runny at first and so I left it uncapped for like maybe five or ten minutes and now the consistency is just right and I love how it looks on my lower lashes I've never used it for the upper lashes I only use it for the bottom but I really really like this product um, definitely worth a shot since again everything from shop miss a is a dollar so yeah been really liking this for the lower lashes and the last group of things there's a few but it's all the same it's all blush it's like how many of them one two three four five 
five blushes. Let's start with the cream ones first because I have two cream ones and three powder ones. So I have talked about Cozy before. This is um, the AOA Studio Hush Cream Sheer Blush in the shade Cozy. And this is beautiful. This is such a beautiful cream blush. Um, now I will say the consistency of these things can be kind of like cringy just a little bit. They do feel like kids makeup, like you know makeup that you would see in like a kids palette or whatever. However, they're they don't feel greasy on the cheeks like maybe if you have oily skin You may not like this, but if you're dry such as myself this like this is really nice on the cheeks because it doesn't accentuate like any Texture or any dry patches or anything like that. And so that's what that looks like sheared out It's really beautiful and they look really pigmented in the pans But they definitely sheer out and once you blend it out you don't feel that like that oiliness that's in them so I will say that that once you blend out the product it definitely you know looks really beautiful these also blend beautifully on top of powder like it's really insane like how pretty it looks like on top of a powdered face um, I was really surprised because one time I did do a video using all of the shop miss a products I'll link that video up above if you're curious and I was like shocked that it looks so beautiful on top of powder. The other shade I want to share with you guys is called Demir. Dem Demir? Yeah. And it's like a beautiful terracotta like orange color and I'll show you what that looks like swatched. Like that's what it looks like swatched but once I blend this out I actually like using this color with just a highlighter. Like I'll use this as like my blush and bronzer. Do you see how beautiful those are? Like they blend out, they have a sheen. You put just a little bit of translucent powder on top of them. You can tone that like glossiness that they have down. And like I said, look at how beautiful those blend out. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. I love them. I, I have another shade coming in the mail and so maybe I'll share that with you guys sometime like next week or something okay and the last three are their powder blushes these are so tiny however they're about the size of like a standard uh, maybe just like in between a, an eyeshadow and like a blush pan so they're not like super duper small however I I mean, if you have a ton of blush in your collection like do you honestly see yourself going through these pretty fast like no. Um, I've got three that I want to share with you. I have shared these two prior. This one is in the shade Dandy and it's like a beautiful peachy like peachy color and oh man I love these like they start off pretty sheer. I don't know if you'll see this one on the back of my hand. I'm gonna build it up. They are very sheer blushes. They kind of have that same like consistency as like a tart blush I'm not gonna lie because you have to really like like pack it on or really dig your brush into it there's no kick up it's definitely a hard press like you know um blush so it does like take a minute to build up however once you build it up like how beautiful is that that's really built up like let me see if i can um sort of blend this so that you could really see what the color would look like on a cheek but once you blend it out, they blend like a dream. They're super beautiful. They come in a whole handful of shades, so you can definitely find one that you like a lot. I also like this one, Fino or Fino. This is actually more of a bronze color, and you can definitely tell that I really like this one. And again, same thing. It's like a really hard pan, but it builds up really, really pretty. It's definitely more of a bronzer tone. I love using that one as a bronzer, and I do all the time, so I really, really like that one. And then the latest one I've picked up is this shade Auburn and this one this one is my favorite so far this one looks like I'm literally just like sunburnt in the face like it looks like I have a natural sunburn and I will say that this one is probably the most pigmented but it is the darkest of the bunch and it's a red auburn color it's that one there is this one with a stippling brush and when I like blend it on my cheeks you guys it literally just looks like I have a natural like sunburn and I love it like I love colors like this right now I think that these look so beautiful and natural and they look super Super intimidating like don't get me wrong when I saw this in person I was like oh my gosh that's like really red like almost like a tomato soup red but it's beautiful actually I think I'm going to apply some real quick so I like to take this duo fiber brush and I will just like swirl to the pan as you could see it picked up a little bit of product there do I have a mirror yeah and I will take this let me get my hair out of the way and I will lightly 
stipple this. And as you could see, I mean, I already had a little bit of blush. So it looks like I have a natural sunburn. Like, is that not so beautiful? Like, that is the prettiest blush. I'm really digging that. You see how beautiful that made me look? Like, I already had a little bit of blush on, but I had a very natural, like, mauve tone. But using that, I could see myself literally using this particular shade with any look. Because, again, it almost just looks like I'm a little bit sunburnt. And I love that look, especially across the nose and, like, a little bit of on the chin sometimes I do blend it into my forehead a little bit just that so that I could look sunburned like I love that look I think it's so cute and so pretty and I remember when I was younger I used to love getting sunburned in that area because it just looks so youthful and so cute and it just looks like you've been out in the sun all day or like I used to think that oh now everybody's gonna think I was at the beach all day you know and I've grown up in San Diego like a majority of my life so it's all about being sunburnt and cute right <laughs> but uh, yeah that's the end of this video I don't know what else to say I'm just gonna end it right here and I hope that you enjoyed my favorites um uh, sorry about all the blush but I'm I'm obsessed with blush I want to try out some more cream blushes from like maybe different brands so if you have any recommendations, let a girl know. Also, if you have any more recommendations for the ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks, I would love to know what some of your favorite shades are. If you've tried any of the AOA Studio like cream blushes, again, let a girl know. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup. Since I don't have social media anymore, I could use some help in spreading my love for makeup around here. And I will see you guys next week, hopefully. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye.